Today we're at Inlay Lake, Myanmar, and we're on the search for Kunja, Myanmar's stimulant of choice. It's one of the oldest traditions in the country. When I arrived in this country, I started noticing red stains all over the pavement, and I was very curious about it. And then I noticed people everywhere were spitting out red, and speaking to me with mouths full of red teeth. To get the full story, we have to get on a boat so that we can find one of Myanmar's famous floating markets. These markets seem to have everything, but sorry people, we're looking for something else. After walking around for just a few minutes, we found a stand selling what we wanted and we asked them about the process. So this is the middle now. How you make it? Kunja is basically Myanmar's version of chewing tobacco. The nut has an ingredient similar to nicotine. It's highly addictive and can eventually cause oral cancer. Even with this information, the Myanmar people still partake every day. Lemon? Yeah, this is lemon. Lemon? Uh, lime. It doesn't smell like anything. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Pack of three costs 100 Burmese chat, around 10 cents US. As you can see, Kunja packs in a variety of ingredients and these change from stall to stall, but the main product is always the same. The betel nut and lime, all wrapped in a leaf. Friend bought some, so I decided to give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> so you put the so whole put leaf in, in? Yeah, put that in your mouth, chew it like as though you're going to eat it, and then just do it for a bit, and then when you feel there's a lot of... Yeah. But don't spit the food out, just spit the excess, like, yeah. saliva around. Here it goes. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's that? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 So what did it taste like, you might ask? Well, the experience isn't just about the taste. You put it in the side of your mouth and start chewing, and right away it seems to bring all the saliva out of your mouth. Your mouth gets really dry, hard pieces of betel nut between your teeth. It's not very pleasant. It's very bitter, and you can get a variety of flavors depending on where you got it from. Some lime, some licorice. No one can really seem to explain the flavors because it's like a bomb exploding in your mouth. And there are so many flavors, textures, and sensations going on at once. People everywhere seem to be at a loss for words. Then your mouth gets numb, and you start to feel happy. It's like the first time you try coffee, or maybe similar to when you had your first cigarette, only stronger. And you walk around Myanmar chatting up locals and start to like it. But still, it's not for me.